Good morning and welcome to Choose Life. I'm Pastor James Coleman, amen. I'm the co-pastor with Pastor Gina Coleman, amen, who is the um, author of, not the author, but she's the person that's um, doing the year-long devotion, amen. It's uh, Jennifer LeClaire's Mornings with the Holy Spirit, amen. And she started this in January and she's continuing it on for the rest of the year. We thank you, um, those of you who have been along with us along the way and who will continue along the way that's been supporting us we've heard great testimonies about um, how this word has encouraged people and how it's lifted them up and how it's done great things amen today is june the second amen and we're already into june amen it seems like we just started not too long ago um and we're gonna we believe that it's gonna be great for you today and for you the rest of your life amen it's a, a little bit of a work for us amen but it's it's a pleasure amen she's allowed me to do a few of these amen it's been fun it's been great but she's brought in some other guests amen and it's been a good time everyone has enjoyed it everyone um they're seeking to do more amen and will uh, i think i believe that she'll allow them to do to do more so you'll see some additional guests amen as the year goes on so Today is a new day. Today is a new opportunity. Amen. To do great things. Amen. It's a day that never existed before, nor, nor will ever exist again. Amen. So it's a great day. Things have ordained, are ordained for today and today only. Amen. And we declare that you'll fulfill them today. Amen. And this word, amen, this devotion today will help you and will benefit you. Not only, um, what you want to do but what god wants you to do amen so the title of today's devotion is allow me to sanctify you allow me to sanctify you amen so i'm going to pray amen and then um, i'm going to read the devotion and then we'll go over the devotion and then we'll have some scriptures and some prayer at the at the end amen but go ahead like subscribe um share tell your family tell your friends tell your co-workers tell everyone amen to come to this channel amen and begin to watch it they can go back and watch it from the beginning of the year amen and get built up and get fortified and get strengthened amen and get the word of god in their lives amen so it's a great great day and we thank you for joining us today so let's pray and begin Father, we bless you and we honor you and we glorify you this day, O oh God. We give you praise and glory and honor, O oh Father. We thank you, God, that you're with us and that you're for us, O oh God. We bless you, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit is on assignment, O oh Father. And he never leaves his post, O oh God. He's always on his post. He's always on his job, O oh Father. Always doing, O oh God, what you desire for him to do, O oh Father. We thank you, O oh God, that he's with us and that he's for us, O oh God. That he's going to bring us revelation and insight, O oh Father, that will benefit us, O oh Father, and glorify you, O oh God. God. So we bless you today, O oh Father. We declare, O oh God, we're good soil, O oh God. We're ready to receive. We're looking to receive, O oh Father, and do great things and great exploits on your behalf, O oh God. So we honor you today and we bless you today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So we're going to read the devotion today, amen, and then we're going to discuss it a little bit. Once again, the title is, Allow Me to Sanctify You. I am called holy for a reason. And you are called to be holy as I am holy. But striving for holiness will not bring you the sanctification you and I desire. You can consecrate yourself unto Father, but I am the one who sanctifies you, regenerates you, and empowers you to walk in my holiness and Christ's righteousness. Stop working so hard and start speaking and thinking and walking in my word by my grace. I will do the rest. Amen. So the Holy Spirit who's speaking to us in this devotion, amen, he's declaring, allow me to sanctify you. Amen. You don't have to work so hard and you have to do all these things. And there's a, a good chance that the work that you're doing is not the proper thing that you need to be doing anyway. Amen. Allow him to do his job. Amen. Allow him to do what he's, what he's been empowered to do by God and what he's supposed to be doing for God and for us. Amen. We need to stay in our lane. Amen. And allow him to do what he wants to do. Amen. Don't overstep our bounds. He has a job. We have a job. We do our job. He does his job. Amen. So let's go through the devotion. I am called holy for a reason. And you are called to be holy as I am holy. Amen. So he declares that he's holy. Amen. And we're called to be the same way. We're called to be exactly the same. We're called to be holy. So that's, that's the example 
Amen. He's already there. He's already achieved the goal. Amen. And that's a goal that um, he has given us as well. God has given us as well. Amen. To be holy as well. Amen. So he's already there. Amen. He's already at the finish line. Amen. And he looks and he desires, amen, to instruct us through the Holy Spirit what to do so that we can achieve that goal as well. Amen. He wants us to be in a specific place because he understands the importance of holiness and righteousness. Amen. And what it means in the spirit realm, what it means in our fight, what it means in our battle, what it means in our victory. Amen. It says, but striving for holiness will not bring you into sanctification, you and into the sanctification you and I desire. So not, not just striving for it. Amen. Because we can strive for something, but be striving in an incorrect way. So it's not that you want to go after it. It's that you go after it in the proper way. The, using the proper method. Allowing the Holy Spirit to guide you and to direct you. Amen. And tell you what to do. Amen. Many of us have thought we've done things that God wanted, um, but the process was inaccurate. The process was wrong. Amen. He may have wanted a specific thing from us or to, for us to do a specific thing, but we didn't utilize the process properly. We took it upon ourselves to determine, okay, this is the way it must be done. This is the way it needs to be done. But that wasn't the case. So we didn't um, complete the task. We weren't that victorious as we would have liked to be, amen, because we strove to, to reach that goal in a method and in a way that was, wasn't proper. Amen. So we had, may have had the right um, desire, but we had the wrong methods. Amen. So if we look to be holy, if we look to be sanctified, if we look to be righteous, amen, why not go to the person that's already there and allow, allow that person to help us and to guide us? If, if you desire a house and so you, your friend has already bought a house, just bought a house, then why go through the process on your own? Talk to your friend and say, okay, well, what did you do? What's the proper way to get to the house? What, what do I have to do first? What do I have to do second? Instead of trying to um, determine it and figure it out all by yourself, why not get the um, wise counsel from somebody who's already gone through the process and already understands, who's already there, and less work on you. And it's more uh, of an ease on you because you're utilizing um, somebody who's already at the finish line and they can uh, they can tell you exactly how to get there They can tell you when to go left when to go right when to go up when to go down when to go faster when to go slow whatever it may be Amen So we don't have to figure it out all ourselves Which sometimes we like to do or we try to do the process has already been laid out Amen. There's been millions of people, amen, who, is, who have already gone through the process and already been victorious. And they have went a certain way. There's no need for us to come up with a new way of doing it. So there wasn't a million different ways that it was done. It was done one way, the way the Holy Spirit wanted it to be done and directed it to be done. Amen. So that's what we have to do. We have to utilize what he tells us to do and what he um, instructs us to do to do to get where we want to get and where he desires for us to get as well. Amen. You can consecrate yourself unto the father, but I am the one who sanctifies you. Amen. So you consecrate yourself, you separate yourself, you set yourself apart for God. But the Holy Spirit is the one that sanctifies us. Amen. He is the one that does the work. He is the one that does the work. Amen. So we set our lives and we set our heart and we set everything up apart from um, other things. We set it unto God and we dedicate it unto God. And then the Holy Spirit begins to work with us to sanctify us. Amen. That's what we need and that's what we want. We have to ensure that we are indeed consecrated unto God. And then we're obedient to the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that we can receive the sanctification that we need and that we desire. Amen. Allow the Holy Spirit to do his work. Stay out of his lane. Amen. Do what you're supposed to do. Let him do what he's supposed to do. Something that he's done a million, a million times. Amen. It's not new to him. Amen. He's been doing it for a long, long time. Amen. This, this may be the first time we've gone down this path. Amen. But he's done it many, many, many times. So utilize him. It's wisdom to utilize someone else's strength. That's wisdom. To utilize somebody else's strength and somebody else's counsel who's already gone through the process. And that's what we should be doing. Amen. 
He is the one that says that he is the one who sanctifies you, regenerates you, and empowers you to walk in his holiness and Christ's righteousness. So he is the one that empowers us. The Holy Spirit is the one that empowers us because he knows the processes of God. He knows how God wants it done. He knows what, what the mind of God completely, the desires of God. So we're regenerated. We're, we're born again. We're built up again. Things are made new in us. We're consecrated. We're set apart. We're sanctified. Amen. This is what he does. What he does. This is his job. This is what he does. Amen. To give us insight, to give us direction, to give us wise counsel. Amen. To do what we need to do to be in the position where God desires for us to be. We don't, we don't need to work outside uh, of the, the counsel of the Holy Spirit. We don't need to create our own path and create our own methods and all these various things. It's already been done. It's already been done. Just sit back, relax, listen, and be obedient. That's it. Amen? Don't stress yourself out. Well, well what about this? And what about that? And what about this? Just say, Holy Spirit, eh? you've already done this before. What do I need to do? And then when he instructs you, you do it. And that's it. Amen. Stop working so hard and start speaking and thinking and walking in my word. By my grace, I will do the rest. Amen. So we need to um, stop thinking and working so hard. Amen. It's hard because we, we look to operate in a process that's not in, um, in alignment and in agreement with the Holy Spirit and with God. So we look and that's why things are harder. That's why things are a struggle. Amen. It, we operate things in our, in our very own home. Amen. Whether it's, I don't know, even a can opener. We can operate a can opener improperly. And it's a struggle to get the can open. Uh, but if we follow the proper instructions and operate the can opener properly in according to the directions of the creator, then the can opener works just fine. Amen. It turns with ease. Use open old can, those can of corns and can of peas and can of string beans, whatever, tomatoes, whatever you open up, tomato paste, whatever you're doing, it, it operates fine and it works without any issue. Hey Amen. You're looking to lay it on its side and I got to warm it up and I got to turn, flip it over here, and rub it in some water, whatever it may be, right? People come up with all kinds of things that they believe will help them. Hey Amen. But the process has already been developed by the Creator. The creator has already de decided this is the way that it needs to be done. And it doesn't need to be changed. It's already been verified. Amen. So we have to um, not work so hard and not look to do things that's extraneous and not do, do things that are burdensome to us. Amen. Because the process has already been figured out and we just need to operate in that process. Amen. So we're going to read a few scriptures here, and then um, we're going to do the prayer. Amen. The first scripture, Leviticus chapter 20, verses 7 and 8. And it reads, Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. And ye shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctifies you. Amen. Sanctify yourselves. Amen. But if we were able to just do it by ourselves then we would just do it. The sanctification comes with the help and the assistance of the Holy Spirit. Amen? So that's what we look for. We want to sanctify ourselves, but we sanctify ourselves by being obedient to the guidance and the direction and the counsel of the Holy Spirit. That's how we sanctify ourselves. Amen? And we, we look to be more like God. Amen? With our sanctification and with our holiness. Amen? The second scripture is 1 Thessalonians 4 and 7. And it reads... For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. Amen. God has called us to holiness. He's not called us to be unclean. He called us to, to holiness. So when we look and we strive for holiness, amen, if we knew what to do, we would have done it. But we don't, in all instances, know what to do. So we need the insight. We need the wisdom. We need the counsel. We need the direction of the Holy Spirit so that we can be holy and we can be righteous and we can set ourselves apart for the work of the Lord. Amen. So he's there. He's looking to help us. He desires to help us. He wants to help us. He's been empowered to help us. He's been directed by God. Amen. To help us. So utilize him. Let's utilize him to the fullest. Don't try to figure it out for ourselves. Don't look to do something different because this, I, I have a better way, right? That's not the case. Maybe in some instances there's better ways, right? 
there's been the, the, the thought that, you know, somebody's trying to build a better mousetrap. Well, this mousetrap that was built originally, it still works. It still works. There's no better way to catch the mice, hey man, this mousetrap still works. You bait them in with some cheese or something, and then boom, it works. Everybody's looking to build a better mousetrap when it's not necessary. This mousetrap works just fine. Hey man, so let's not look to build a better, or what we believe a better way, when the way that um, the Holy Spirit wants to direct us in has been working for decades and centuries and it's um millions and millions of people have been victorious in this process so why look to do something different why not just follow the guidelines and follow what has been utilized before amen and the last scripture is second timothy 2 21 and it reads if a man therefore purge himself from these he shall be a vessel unto honor sanctified and meet for the hope for the master's use and prepared unto every good work amen so we have to purge ourselves with the, the leading and the guiding of the holy spirit he's holy we want to be holy he's going to tell us all right you got to get rid of these things you got to do you got to work on these things this is what needs to happen purge yourself of this purge yourself of unrighteousness purge yourself of this uh, these filthy things that aren't beneficial to you if you want to be holy the holy spirit will surely tell you how to be holy amen He's going to tell us what to do. Each person is different. Each things within uh, people are different. So what one person needs, the other person may not need. Or they may need it, but not to the same degree. So the Holy Spirit knows where we're at and what we need to do to progress forward, to move forward. Amen. He knows what we need to get rid of, how we need to get rid of it, and what's the best way for us to not only get rid of it, but keep it gone. Amen. So that we can be holy and we can be uh, meet for the master's use. We can be used for what God wants us to be because we have listened to the Holy Spirit and we're in a position now that we can be utilized and we can be used. And everybody says that, right? People say that all the time. I just want to be used by God. I just want to be used by God. Well, if you want to be used by God, you have to be in the position to be used by God, which means you have to listen to the Holy Spirit. You have to take his counsel. You have to take his wisdom. You have to take his direction. You have to take um, his guidance. Amen. That will put you in the position to be used by God. If you're not being used by God, you have to um, ask yourself and evaluate, well, am I listening to the Holy Spirit so that I can be in the position that where, where I can be used by God? Or am I doing my own thing because I think I have a better way and God is not using me because I'm not um, where I need to be because I'm using utilizing my ways and not the ways of the Holy Spirit. Amen? So we're going to read the prayer out of the devotion today. And it reads, I know you won't do, I know you won't do my part, but I can't do your part. So I am going to stop trying to change myself. Show me my part as I set my heart to enter a new level of your holiness. Help me to rest in your holiness and lean into your transforming power amen so the holy spirit can't do our part and we can't do his part amen so we have to be able to separate the two and when he does his part then we can do our part that's when we can do what we're called to do and what we're supposed to do man that's all we're asked to do is just do our part we're not asked to do someone else's part amen just do our part and when we do our part, amen, we'll be in a proper position that we can be used in by God, amen, to advance the kingdom and to glorify him, amen. Let's just do what we're supposed to do. Let's not look to do someone else's work. Just look to do what we're, what we're supposed to do. Allow the Holy Spirit to do what he's going to do, amen. And then when he does his part, then we respond by doing our part. And then we can move closer to being in that position that we desire to be, Amen. To be utilized by God. Amen. Let's pray. So, Father, we bless you and we glorify you. We magnify you this great day, O oh God. We give you praise and glory and honor, O oh Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, O oh God, that the Holy Spirit has a job, O oh God. He has a, a thing and a part to play, O oh God, in the advancement of the kingdom, O oh God, in, and in the benefit of ourselves, O oh God. We understand, O oh God, that we have a part as well, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, that the Holy Spirit assuredly will do his part, O oh Father, and that he's patient with us, O oh God, 
so that we can do our part, O oh Father. We thank you for your grace and for your mercy, O oh God, and for your understanding, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, that our frailties, O oh God, are nothing to you, O oh God. We surrender to you, O oh Father. We surrender, O oh God, to your will. We surrender to the Holy Spirit, O oh God, leading and guiding, O oh Father. Wisdom and counsel, O oh Father. We submit to that, O oh Father. And we declare, O oh God, obedience over our lives, O oh Father, moving forward. O oh God, our desire is to be in the proper position, O oh God, that we can be utilized by you, O oh God. So we bless you today, O Father. We glorify you today and we magnify you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So enjoy your day. We thank you for joining us today. Amen. We ask again that you would like, share, subscribe. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell everybody, amen. Put something on Facebook, put something on your Instagram, whatever you can do, amen. We believe that this channel is beneficial to many, many people, and we would like to get it to many, many, as many people as we can, amen. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and have a great, great day.